Hi everyone. For the past few weeks and months, I've been doing some study in Ephesians, and the first part of chapter two really struck me afresh this week. Uh, I wonder how you view your faith. Uh, maybe have said people have said to you in the past uh, when you said that you were a Christian, "Oh wow, I wish I had faith like that." Uh, and maybe you've thought to yourself, "Faith like what? I don't feel like my faith is very strong at all." And here in his letter to the Ephesians, uh, Paul reminds them of the life transformation which has taken place in their lives and how this all came to be. Uh, and in verse 1 to 3, Paul shows them that they were dead in their sins. They live for themselves. They disobeyed God and they are heading to God's wrath. But then something extraordinary happened. Take a look at verse 4. It says they, are, they were dead. But then Paul says, but because of his great love for us, God. Isn't that striking? You know, so often uh, we might kid ourselves when someone asks how we became a Christian. Uh, we might respond and say, oh, it's because I listened to God's word and because I put my faith in Christ Jesus. But Paul says, no, this is all God's work. It's because of God's great love for us. It is because God is rich in mercy. What did God do in his great love for us and in his mercy? Verse five, he made us alive with Christ. When? Even when we we're dead in sin. What could we do to save ourselves? Nothing. We're dead. It's by grace you've been saved, Paul says. It's God's work and only God's work. Uh, he then says in verse 6, And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace, expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. See, we were once dead in sin, but as Christians, God has already made us alive in Christ. He's already raised us up in Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms. Isn't that astonishing? You know, we might not feel like that. We might not feel like we're in Jesus in the, in the heavenly realms. But when Jesus returns, we won't have anything to fear. Isn't that such an encouragement? You know, we might feel like our faith is failing or that we aren't good enough as a Christian for whatever reason. But hear this, it's all God's work which has already been accomplished. And this just really struck me afresh this week uh, because I often fall into the trap in thinking that I'm not good enough as a Christian. I'm sure we all do. Um, I think maybe I'm not wise or encouraging or holy enough, uh, that I don't pray enough, that I don't read my Bible enough, uh, that I just don't contemplate how amazing God is enough, uh, that I don't appreciate a God as much as I ought. Uh, sometimes I even doubt whether my faith is even genuine. But these are the devil's lies. And how can I be sure of that? How can we be sure of that if we have the same doubts? Because of what verse 8 to 9 says. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. That's amazing, isn't it? See, we can and we should never boast or rely on ourselves because it is all through God's grace. It is also our faith, but even that is a gift from God. So we can't even bo boast about our faith. Uh, even our faith is put in place by God. Uh, and this just struck me this week as I saw afresh that because my faith, even my faith, is a gift of God. Therefore, I, I don't need to worry. We can be assured of our future. You know, we can know that the, our forgiveness of sin and our eternal future in heaven is certain that we will be seated beside our saviour Jesus. Uh, one of my favourite songs has this verse. I will not boast in anything, no gifts, no power, no wisdom, but I will boast in Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection. Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. Let's pray. Father, Thank you so much that we're not saved by anything we have ever done, but exclusively by what you have done for us. Through Jesus' death and resurrection, through the faith you planted in our hearts, through the work of the Spirit in us, may we never boast in anything other than you and what Jesus has accomplished for us. For your glory we pray. Amen. Hope you have a good week. God bless.